so as you can tell by the title of this video and by the thumbnail I'll be having another deep conditioning battle and now the two competitors will be these two products from Shea Moisture they will be going head to head in the ring so the first product is the champ I already have a video on this one comparing it to the Karen's Body Beautiful deep conditioner in it one out so this is the champ right here it is a 10 in 1 renewal system hair mask from Shea Moisture and the new competitor the new kid on the block is the high porosity moisture steel mask also from Shea Moisture now let's start with the champ now the 10 in 1 renewal system hair mask it is a very thick product like very thick like you shake it up and down it's not going anywhere at all it is a 12 fluid ounce jar and like I said it's a jar so you kind of scoop it out the smell is very fruity this thing will linger in your hair for almost a week like I was walking around like after a week and people were still saying your hair smells really good did you put something in it and it was this it also says that it is age defying, color protect, hydrates, nourish, softens, anti-stress, deep condition, revives body, strengthens, and shines your hair. And like you can tell in my other video, I think it does pretty much most of these things. I can't tell if it color protects because my hair is not color treated. And also this has no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no gluten, no synthetic color, no D. EA no f synthetic fragrance and it is not tested on animals so all the smell that you smell in here is from all the fruits and berries that they put in here because it says no synthetic fragrance in here um, also it does have a little bit of um, protein yeah it has hydrolyzed rice protein so that's what's going to help you with the strengthening so if you are looking for something that is purely moisture based this is not it but it does moisturize your hair pretty well I think this is a product if you're having problems with like the protein moisture balance this is a good product because I think it has a good amount of moisture and also a good amount of protein in it I want to just give a few facts on the new guy on the block which is the high porosity moisture and seal hair mask it, it is sulfate Free and it is color safe so if you do have color treated hair this is safe just as long as just as well as the 10 in 1 which um, is color protecting like I said I don't have color treated hair so I'm not too sure how that works but it is sulfate free I read the ingredients and there are no sulfates in it at all this one does have hydrolyzed soy protein in it but to me I didn't get strengthening too much from this one I got just a ton of moisture blast like this to, this was just like a pure moisturizing product on my hair like when I put it in this product is not as thick as the 10 in 1 system like if you dip it over and you go like this it will pour out of here it's not a runny conditioner but it is it does come out so let me see if I can show you guys so you see if I just go like that whoop, there it goes it's coming out this product is a little bit more runny but it is thick so if you like a thick runny product you'll love this one the smell it does have a smell to it and it doesn't say that there's no synthetic smell so I do think that they did add some fragrance in here I don't see it in the ingredients but I could just be missing it because you know the prints real small and I'm just trying to do it real quick but yeah it doesn't say it doesn't have any synthetic smell but I'm not too sure but yeah this product right here like it does have a smell and to me it did linger in my hair too but it didn't linger as long as the 10 in 1 so I can still smell the to me the 10 in 1 kind of overpowered this one because as you can see on either the left and right of the screen you see me putting them in so I can still smell it on this side well this one doesn't have too much of that smell said it isn't as thick so you can comb this product through so like I put it on and I use my like demo brush and I was still able to comb through my hair initially when you put this product on it does make your hair feel soft like your hair your hair feels soft to the touch initially when you put this product on now with the 10 in 1 rule system it's not as soft because it's a thicker product so you definitely feel like the thickness going on your hair but this one definitely when you put it on it kind of I don't know something in it makes it feel soft to the touch so after I finished putting these two in I put these um, this one on I think this side of my hair that's what I did I sat under my hood dryer for 30 minutes under the saran wrap took saran wrap 
off and wash it out now this one the champ washed out like before like, even when you wash it out it still felt soft it wasn't hard to wash out even though it's a thick product it wasn't hard to get because i have a lot of new growth and sometimes when products are thick they kind of get stuck in like near my roots but this one washed out perfectly it softened up my hair like no tangles like at all on this side like my hair just melted away with this one like it did before and when I washed this one out because it was a like thinner product, of course it didn't get stuck in my hair as well. It wasn't that difficult to wash out. And this one left my hair moisturized as well. And I was washing, like making sure like nothing was cold. Like it definitely still felt very moisturized when I was washing this out of my hair. You wash them out, they both leave your hair very moisturized. The only difference is with this one, I did feel a little more strength in my hair than I did with this one. So I feel like this one has a great moisture protein balance like you to it this one you may want to add the protein in your um leave-in conditioner because if you keep continue to use this once a week your hair will get moisture overload i feel like your hair won't get that much moisture overload with this one like you can continue to use this one you won't have to worry about moisture overload but with this one i think if you continue to use it like on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis like all the time this is the only deep conditioner that you use your hair probably will start to have a little bit of um moisture overload just from what i feel like with my hair it may be different to your hair so if you guys have used either the 10 in 1 renewal system or the high porosity hair mask leave it in the comment section below leave your experiences positive or negative with either one of these masks so people can read them and I'll talk to you in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.